Hello everyone, this is Redout67 and... Darcy Beth. And welcome to episode 13? Yeah, I think that's it. Alright, so this episode we are going to be doing some automation. Because it's as fun as it is to throw things in hoppers and do all kinds of fun stuff. It's boring. Like, really, really boring. So, let's go ahead and let's automate this stuff. So, um... In between last episode and this one, I added a bunch of these redstone furnaces. Uh, uh, basically get a jump start on the alimentum. And as you can see right here, we now have 4,088 or 4,065. Not sure because my GUI is all kinds of crazy. Hello. Hey. So let's go ahead and get ourselves some ME cable. What's that? Ooh, coagulated blood. You want to see what I'm doing? Sure. Uh, let's see. Cable. Let's get all the cables. A lead. Mm -hmm. Ooh, cool. <laughs> and then another lead. Oh, that looks pretty interesting. Alright, so in order for us to do this, we need to get import buses as well as export buses. I got one import. What about exports? I got three of those. So, I'm going to need a couple more. So, let's do import. Let's do basic. Let's see if I can make that. Ooh, I'm missing things. So, let's do that. Make a couple of those. Oh, you're doing something. Oh, you did something. Here. That's all good. I fixed it. I got it. <coughs> oh. Sorry, I'm moving to the other terminal. Oh, I guess I'm already out of uh, stuff. Really? Oh, yeah, I am out of flux dust. Alright, so let's, let's make some flux dust. Yeah, let's just make up all of it. And there we go. Now we don't have to worry about that. Let's make another one of these. Boop, 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 boop. And let's go ahead and make the interface. What am I missing? Oh, ME cable. Okay. I'll use some of that. Let's make four. I guess right glass. Alright, and then let's get this and then I think it's that yes import all right so now we got that um, let's go ahead and set up just a handful of our machines so is there anything in this guy nope and there shouldn't be any in this guy and then let's go ahead and plop down one of our import buses and another import bus and then let's get some of our cabling. Boop, boop, boop. So we got that. Now let's go ahead and get. Ooh, there's some more glass. And let's go ahead and let's break this. And then let's break, break. And then let's see. So if we do this correctly, or basically what I'm thinking is pulverizer, we really don't need, well I guess we kind of do need an export. So I guess let's go ahead and do that. Uh, export as well as, so now that we're doing this, we can now make a refined one. So we got the back, yep. And then let's see. Yeah, it's all kinds of tight back here. There we go. Let's get our other export bus. Right there. And let's go ahead and connect it up with a wire. And let's go ahead and get ourselves trapped. Alright. <coughs> so now that we got the basic setup, now what we need to do is... Thank you. Look. Cool. Look at 
Got it. Cool. Oh, thank you. It's a TNT version of the Wii, so you can explode stuff. Cool. Thank you. Alright, so now, unfortunately, I forgot that I needed to upgrade these. Are those upgraded? Yes. Precision, precision. Alright, so let's go ahead and upgrade these. Right here. And let's do a basic. Do. Boop and boop. So now that we got what we really wanted, let's go ahead and plop and then plop. And let's look at our ores. O R E S. Or. So we got quite a bit of ores. We got a whole bunch of iron, a whole bunch of aluminum. A whole bunch of tin, a whole bunch of silver, bentium, copper, lead, cinnabar, uranium, gold, ferrous, dark, and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and set up. <coughs> Sorry. Let's go ahead and set up the items that we will need that cannot be pulverized. So uh, aluminum. What else? Bentium ore can't be as well as cinnabar. And I think that's it. So let's go ahead and let's go over to our redstone furnace. Why are you exporting? Stacks at a time. Stacks at a time. Whatever whatever reason that wasn't working. So let's go ahead and export our dark iron, our aluminum, our vintium, and our cinnabar. And let's just say stacks at a time. Oh, wait, that's import. Wow, I'm all kinds of special today. So let's go ahead and break these because I'm a goof. And let's put our import buses on the back. And our export buses on the top. There we go. Now I should be able to do that. So let's go ahead. Uh, wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, that needs to go into there. So let's go ahead. Iron, aluminum, bentium. And Cinnabar. And we're going to say move stacks at a time because we want this done fast. <coughs> and as you can see right there, it's doing its job. And we need to reconnect this guy. And there we go. We also figured out why it wasn't doing the way stuff was, it wasn't doing. Let's go ahead and put all these ores back in there. And let's look for our ones that can be doubled. So, iron, tin. Silver, uh, what else? Copper, lead. Put that in there. Um, I'm gonna hold off on the uranium. Uh, let's do some gold. You know, I will do the uranium. Uh, let's do the ferrous ore. And I think. Let's do the Ardite, as well as the Cobalt. Alright. So let's go ahead and set up the Precision Export stacks. Let's do all this, blah, blah, blah. And it looks like I'm going to have to have another Export Bus. So... Oh yeah, we will. So the one guy that got left out was the Cobalt. So let's go... I'm thinking... Underneath? Yeah. These Boots of the Traveler are freaking <coughs> awesome. <coughs> oh, can't go underneath. What about... I guess I just got to go from the front. Ooh, I don't think I can do that either. Alright, so let's do this. So let's go ahead and get ourselves some covers. Something like that. 
Let's get rid of all these. We no longer need them. That, 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 and that. Alrighty. And let's go ahead and place these down. Just like so. And then let's go ahead and let's break that one and that one and that one and that one so let's red some energy saw right there and then let's put our other one right there and let's get some more of our, our energy conducts and like that our machines are repowered yes so let's go ahead and let's open up another spot on our import. And let's go ahead and precision export this. Like that. And then ME cable. And then click on it. And then we'll do cobalt ore as well. And the nice thing is, is having an extra machine doing the, that. Um, we have room for expansion. So YouTube, I'll be back in just a second with a couple other ideas on what to do next. Be back in one second, YouTube. All right, YouTube, and I'm back. So I dug out this nice little area because I think it's about time for the AE system to do my work for me. What do I mean by that? Well, let's find out. Let's see, let's see, um, somewhere in here, so we need the ME I mean, pattern provider, we need the heat vents, we need a couple crafting CPUs, and we need the assembler container wall, so let's work on that first. Um, let's pick a bunch. So the nice thing is, is um, Applied Energy Logistics makes a uh, multi-block structure that, if you do it correctly, can basically build everything you need it to build. Um, that includes like resident energy cells. Um, what else? Um, basic crafting supplies. Uh, you can probably get it to craft entire uh, buildings for you. Um, I will probably get into the spatial storage. Uh, that's really cool. Basically, you can go around and, yeah, like, let's say you want to move your base. Um, you can go ahead and be like, oh, well, I'm going to map out the entire area. And... Uh, it takes a ton of energy, but once it uses pretty much all your energy, um, you have a portable base. So let's see, so one, two, three, four more. Okay. Let's go ahead and get four more of those. One, two, three, four. That's actually pretty good on the guessing. So, like that, like that, like that, and like that. Alright, so now I need heat vents. So I need 12, 24, 28, 32. So let's go ahead and get 32 heat exchange vents. So let's go back to applied. <coughs> Why isn't... there you go. And let's get ourselves the heat vents. And I want to say I needed 32. So let's go ahead and do that. <coughs> hey, look at that. Exactly 32. Coolio. So. Now the heat vents, they need to be on the outsides, but not on like the edges. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And with that, I'm left with four. So what I want to do is I'm thinking probably three or four crafting CPUs, and then the rest is going to be storage. So let's go ahead and let's make, and let's do three. So, apply it again. Go away. So let's get ourselves some crafting CPUs, which is right here. So let's go ahead and get one, two, three. And let's place these in this multi-block structure of awesomeness. And then I need eight, nine uh, storage cells, I think. Apply. Come on. Slow today. So we need nine pattern providers. Yep. <coughs> so let's go ahead and... Get some of those. One, two. Let's get some wood real fast. Let's do that. And let's go over here. Wow, there's a ton of lag right now. Eight. <laughs> yeah, let's make nine. So, now that we got our crafting tables, let's put them back in the recipe. Alright, and we got five pattern providers. One, two, three, four, five. And we need four more. And what were we missing? Ah, oh, the conversion matrixes. C O N V E R conversion matrix. And I need four more, so I need to make eight in total. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's make a bunch more. That looks good. Alright, so let's go back to the Applied Energy Logistics. Let's see. Oh, that's right. It doesn't have double or triple P. So, where are you at? I need mean, Pattern Provider. There we go. One, two, th What am I missing now? Oh, storage cells. Okay, let's go ahead and make some of those. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should work. And then let's go over to here. Three, four. All right. So let's go ahead and put our last storage pattern. So the nice thing is you can still inter interact with them even when they're not in there. And finally, our last four uh, heat things. So now the nice thing is, is when uh, it does, you'll see a little bit of uh, <coughs> it'll do a connected texture, and the way that you can tell that it's definitely working is if they're blue on the outside. But if you go inside, <coughs> we have nine pages of, let's see, one, two, three, four, three, six by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 6 by 9, 54, I believe. So 54 times 9, really big number. And that's just stuff that isn't advanced things. So now let's go ahead and let's look at what we need to make all these different uh, items. So let's go back to Applied Energy Genetics. Uh, if it does what I want to, it seems very laggy today. So let's see. Uh, we need the pattern encoder. Let's go ahead and craft one of those. And then we need a blank pattern. There we go. And just like that. Let's make a couple of these. And let's go ahead and let's put this and I'm thinking like right here. Go ahead and put in our patterns. <coughs> Now what we can do, here's the cool part guys, because we're going to need lots of blank patterns. What's, what do you guys think should be the first thing we do? That's right, we're going to teach you how to make blank patterns. The nice thing is, is um, 
because there's an NEI plugin now, you can actually shift click the recipe in and just like that encode. And the way that you tell it has something on there is it'll light up blue and it will tell you crafts, uh, the blank pattern, and it uses two glass, three redstone, one surface quartz, and three iron ingots. So we go ahead and grab that out and we put it in the molecular assembly chamber. So now that we got the basics of that, let's teach it how to... I'm thinking, what are we always low on? Uh, let's see. Let's go over into here. Oops. That's not what I wanted. Um, let's go ahead and teach it how to do the majority of the applied anagenistic stuff. So, for instance, we need it to do cables for us. So, encode. Uh, what else do we need? Um, probably, I go through conversion matrices like no other, so let's go ahead and do that as well. And what else, what else? Um, I'm probably thinking the Fluix dust, because I need that sometimes too. And in code, and just like that, we got a total of four now. So YouTube, I'll be back in just a second once I get the resources uh, to make more blank patterns, as well as make them uh, make the different patterns off screen, because that's kind of boring. So YouTube, I'll be back in just a second. YouTube, and I'm back. So I made a couple um, plans off the, um, you know, all in between cuts. And it occurred to me that we also need something very important on this that can help us. So we actually need the crafting monitor. And I will show you guys why in just a second. Go ahead and get that it's clear. And let's go ahead and let's put it right above my emergency ender chest. And right here, it'll tell you jobs currently crafting, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and... Uh, apparently got stuck. Um, let's go ahead and let's try making some stuff. So, let's make, I don't know, a stack of uh, blank pat... Blank, uh, ME blank patterns. Begin. So as you see, it kind of stopped at eight. And if you go up here, it's going to tell you that oh, you know, you're missing glass. But we haven't taught it how to make glass yet. So when it says right up there, you need a uh, you know, we try to make 56 more, but you know, you're not letting us. You're not being cool. So the the way that you do this is you can either add glass into the system and it'll do it, or I believe you can left click, shift left click. Yeah, shift left click and it clears out the tasks. Um, there are some times like where um, when you're troubleshooting how to build certain things, it will have issues and all kinds of lovely things. Like for instance, making the uh, resonant energy cells, uh, especially if you're trying to auto craft it because it, it just doesn't really like it. You end up having to do a little bit of trickery behind it. But, you know, this right here, the crafting monitor, is literally your best friend if, for whatever reason, the machine isn't making the stuff that you want it to. So, um, I think I'm going to switch tasks now, because I think I'm pretty much done with that. And, if you guys look at my map, it's annoyingly filled up with monsters, and I hate that. So we are going to look at a particular mod. Magnum torches. There we go. <coughs> Magnum torches are uh, very unique. Um, it does take up an actual block. So um, keep in mind of that. Uh, so you know, try to find somewhere discreet. But the other thing uh, that's really nice about it. Ooh, I have to do potions. Ugh is um it will keep monsters and all kinds of different spawns away from your area or wherever this is set for 64 block radius 
So let's go ahead and let's make the five chandeliers. One, two, three, four, five. And then what else? Uh, any type of wood. And we need glowstone. Potion regeneration. So I need an awkward potion. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a potion stand. Come on. Update any day now. There we go. Not seen it, so let's just type in stand. Uh, really? Oh, wait. Oh, okay, I was just looking at it wrong. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Do I not have any blaze rods? B L A Z E. Nope. Bummer. Alright, let's go to the nether. And I think this is going to be a two part episode on this. Hey, actually, I was about to go to the nether if you want me to do it. That's fine. Into the nether. Look at me, I'm French. <laughs> ah! And then I need to go up here. Go down. Yeah. Hey, look, Blazes. Ready to die. Sup, guys? Sup? Oh, why you dead? Why are you dead? Die, Pigman. And just like that, I got a single blaze rod for all that work. <laughs> Which, eh, it's really all I need for right now. So let's go back to the overworld, where it's all nice and safe and not full of redness. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, look at this. <coughs> cool. Do you see the hair? Yeah. All right. So now that we got this, and yes, I did have to build a wall. For whatever reason, there are zombies going all the way from our mine shaft up to our area into here, attacking me all the time. So let's go ahead and use our only blaze rod to make a brewing stand. And let's see. Warts. And I need... Uh, I'm trying to remember. Go ahead and put this right here. Brewing stand. And then I need. Uh, let's type in Magnum again. And we need. Boop. Boop. Awkward potion. How do I make a water bottle? Okay, yeah, that's really helpful. Uh, yes, because I need a water bottle to make a water bottle. Okay, I just need a glass ball. That's what I wanted. Glass. Don't have that much. I wonder if I can put these back into... No, I can't. So, let's go ahead and let's get some... Sand. And let's put it in the redstone furnace. And then, I don't know what I'll do with this. I think I'm just going to throw it back in the system. And we should have some glass now. So let's go ahead and glass again. One, two, three. Gets ourselves some glass bottles. Now we need to fill these up with water. One, two, three. And let's go ahead and let's make a couple. And this should give us our awkward potion, if I remember correctly. Magnum. And you. And there we go. <coughs> so, awkward potion is. Yep. Yeah. Now the wart. And then I need, I believe, a gas tier. And then I need glowstone. So let's see if I have any more gas tiers. G A S T. Let's type in tier. T E A R. No, I have tiers. Lovers. Alright, let's go look at the Magnum Porch again. <coughs> Magnum Torch. I'm in the nether if you need a gas tier. Yes, that'd be lovely. Okay. 
Then the, let's do the potion of healing. Okay. So, let's do that. So I need a glistering melon. Eh, not all that hard, so let's go get ourselves a melon. <coughs> How do we not have any watermelon? Because we've never made any. What? Nope. Not this episode. Ah, I try to do think. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to call it an episode, YouTube. It's up at that magical point. Um, in between this episode and next, I'm going to go find some watermelons. Uh, kill a bajillion ghasts. That was my luck. I won't find any of. So until next time, this is Redout67 and... Thirsty Beth. YouTube, have yourselves a great day.